Crystal Blessings. It's Hibiscus Moon with HibiscusMoon.com. And today, how about we get talking about some crystal suggestions for busting our bad habits. Okay, so a lot of times people will say, I need to quit smoking. I need to stop biting my nails. I need to get into a habit of not eating junk food or stop being lazy and couch potatoing when I get home from work and get to the gym or whatever it is that you consider to be a bad habit that you want to break out of. Any bad habit you can think of, I probably have heard it before and I've had my own bad habits that I've had to kind of bust out of. I used to drink coke all the time then it was diet coke all the time so yes i have used crystals to help me quit and i'm not saying that crystals are the only thing you should do there are lots of ways and methods and all kinds of things you can use to help you quit and train yourself out of bad habits but i'm not going to get into those I've got some crystal suggestions for you today that can help with that. Again, you want to be working in other areas and not just rely on the crystals alone, but the crystals can be a really powerful, healthy ally and support in helping you to bust out or break out of these bad habits. Okay, I have them too, and amethyst, by the way, I just touched my amethyst here, is a great one. It's like the most well-known crystal for helping us to break out of bad habit. Here's a really pretty little mini geode here. Isn't it sparkly? Look how pretty it is. It's just a little one. Amethyst is one of the most well-known crystals for helping us break bad habits. Since ancient times, the Romans used to use and create goblets made of amethyst because it was an anti-drunkenness don't. They would make the goblets of amethyst so that the rulers and the leaders could just drink and drink and drink, get everybody else drunk and incapacitated, but they wouldn't be drunk themselves. So then it kind of morphed into not only just keeping you from getting drunk, but also a stone that would make you not want to drink because a lot of us know alcohol can be addictive, more addictive for some than others. So amethyst is actually used, I'm told, I've heard this, so I don't know it firsthand, in um, AA meetings that they suggest carrying a little amethyst with you. Even if it's just for a visual reminder and like a tangible object to remind you of the path that you're on, hey, if that's all it is for some people, then fine. But I know, and you probably know here too, and that's why you're here, that amethyst has those kinds of properties that makes you, that boosts your willpower so that you don't want to do those things, the drugs, the alcohol, whatever it is that's bad for you, then we consider it a bad habit if it's something that's kind of hard for us to bust out of. And we all have them. We have different bad habits of all kinds. This is another amethyst, an amethyst point. Moving on from amethyst, another stone that's really great to help you kind of look for the root cause of what's, help, what's holding you back or what's making you kind of rely on these bad habits to make you feel better. Um, and a good reminder to your goals and what you're, um, you're moving towards, breaking those bad habits, is Amazonite. And this is a really nice specimen of Amazonite. And another one that is also good for that in the same color family is Chrysocolla. And here's a gorgeous Chrysocolla. It looks like the planet Earth, doesn't it? Ah. Just beautiful. Another one that I wanted to throw into the mix, this little pendant of Starlight I have with black onyx on the back. And the black onyx is for boosting your willpower in anything. So this is kind of cool because this is the front of the pendant and I don't know if you can see it. The Starlight, this was actually for um, getting rid of things. Um, but there's little garnets in there. I don't know if you can see those. There are little sparkly red garnets in there. And then the black onyx on the back is to boost the willpower because that's what you need. A lot of willpower when you're trying to break your bad habits until the new habit becomes a habit and it boosts inner strength. Black onyx is really good for that. And it's not as powerful or forceful of an energy as black obsidian, although they look very much alike. 
black onyx and black obsidian. They're shiny and they're black. Okay, so I hope this was helpful for you and more power to you in breaking your bad habits, okay? Namaste, see you soon, bye.